This is Tech in the Car and this is the brand new 2021 facelift Citroen C3 Aircross. This is the inner side of the Citroen C3 Aircross. In this video, I'm gonna show you the infotainment system and tell you what I think about it and explain how it works. Give this a like if you found it useful, subscribe for more, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Right, let's start off looking at this system. So underneath the display of the C3 Aircross, which is available in seven or nine inch sizes, depending on how you spec it, you have our volume control and power button, our home button, we've got our climate control button, demisting for front and rear windows, hazard button, and your central locking button. So we've got radio as an option, which we can tap into, and then it will take us and show us an overview of our radio. We can go between the frequencies, we can see a list here. We can go to our different sources and we can choose between radio, Bluetooth, USB, iPod. If Android Auto or CarPlay is connected, it will then pop up and show that there. In our options, we can choose between the radio stations, music files, radio settings, managing photos if you have a USB stick plugged in and audio settings. Audio settings obviously takes us to our bass, mid and treble settings. And we can adjust the ambience. We can adjust the balance between the front and the rear. We can change whether we get noises when we tap on the screen or the buttons. We can adjust the voice control volume and we can change the ringtone. If we go back to the home screen, we can then go into navigation. Navigation will bring up Citroen's navigation. This is an extra option you have to spec. It's not available on all the cars. However, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is, and that will give you access to Google Maps. Like you would expect, you can press the search button and you can navigate by points of interest and address. And then it will bring up places like places you can park, hospitals, churches, Citroen dealers, like this car was borrowed from Citroen Wilmoth Eastbourne, so please give them a visit. And thank you very much to them for this car. That is a navigation system. Climate control. So you don't have any physical climate control buttons on here. You have to press the climate control button and then go into those, but you can increase the fan speed by clicking the plus and minus buttons underneath, and you can change the temperature by hitting the arrows, which are blue and red, and then you can adjust where it goes, whether it blows at you or down at your feet by pressing the buttons on the side. And then underneath you have your recirculation, your AC on and off button, your auto and your AC and max button. So it's still really, really simple to use. There's just no physical buttons for it. Let's go back to the home screen. We now have phone, so you can connect your phone up, which we'll do in a minute. We then have our applications. This again will load up Citroen's connected apps. So you can use a Citroen connected app to lock your car and to see your driving information and also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then we go into our vehicle settings. So I really like how easy it is to see what's going on with the Citroen vehicle settings because they are really, really easy to see. So we have our stop and start, on and off, parking sensors, traction control, under inflation, initialization, try saying that several times fast. And then you've got your vehicle settings. We can go into our headlights. We can have the directional headlights. So when it goes around corners, it turns. Guide me home lighting. So when you come towards the car, it lets you know where the car is and it guides you home and you can adjust the amount of time that's on and off for. We've got our welcome lighting as well. In terms of comfort, so this car rear wiper in reverse, that will let you turn that on and off on here. And then safety driver attention warning and speed recommendations are on here. Now, if you have your adaptive cruise control and lane assist as an option on the car, that will all show up in this area here as well. But that's it, very, very simple. So let's now plug in Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so we can see what that looks like. Click allow on CarPlay. And now we've got CarPlay on here. Very clear, very easy to see what's going on. You can go across to your dashboard overview as well. And we've got Apple Maps too, if you want to enjoy Apple Maps on here. So it's whatever is on your phone, you can use it on Apple CarPlay. Really simple to use and it looks very sharp on this display as well, which is very cool to see. Let's have a quick look at Android Auto now. So as you can see, Android Auto is fully loaded and working exactly the same way as Apple CarPlay. And you know, it just works really, really simply, really easily. I have to say that the quality of this display actually looks really good to me with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. This particular car is not equipped with as many safety features as some of the other cars might be, so there wasn't much to show you in the menu, but hopefully you get the idea of where everything would be and what it would look like. If you wanna see some examples of the assistance systems on these cars, then check out my C5 Aircross Hybrid, also from Wilma Citroen Eastbourne, that had all of the features on it, and you can see that in the infotainment guide. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
please subscribe for more and see you in the next video. Thank you very much and stay safe.